quilt is a sampler of star blocks and it's a great way to learn and practice triangles. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojangi, and embroidery. This quilt, the Yellow Twinkle Sampler, was my challenge project for the month of May as an Island Batik Ambassador. As an Island Batik Ambassador, I received fabric collections from Island Batik as well as batting and thread and other things from their industry partners. And then each month I have a challenge project that I have to do. The challenge for May was all about triangles. When I thought of triangles, the first thing that I thought of was stars and I knew I wanted to make a twinkle sampler quilt. For the background, I chose this beautiful soft yellow fabric and it is called Sunny and it's from the Island Petite collection of opulent oranges, which is a nice gradation of yellow and orange fabrics. For the feature fabric in the blocks, I used 10 inch pre-cuts of the vintage lace fabric collection. So the quilt does look scrappy because it has so many fabrics in it, but because it's a collection, it does overall coordinate. The pattern for this quilt is called Twinkle Sampler Pattern, and it's available from EBITDA Studio. You can click on the link below if you want to see this. And I made the large size option. So this finishes at 65 inches by 80 inches. And in this pattern, there are nine different star blocks that are made. So of course, because I was making the large quilt, I needed 20 blocks. So I got to choose which ones I wanted to make extras of. And that's, that's the nice thing with this pattern is if there's a block that you don't want to make or you don't really like, you can easily substitute and you don't have to make every block in the same numbers. With the different star blocks, this quilt contains half square triangles of different sizes, quarter square triangles, split half square triangles, and different sizes of flying geese. So you're gonna get a lot of practice using right angle triangles in the quilt. Instructions are given for certain techniques of making these triangle units, but there's also links to other techniques. So you can use whatever method you want to make your triangle units for these blocks. It's a great opportunity for you to experiment with different options and see what you like and what works best for you. Because I was using pre-cuts, I only had two 10 inch squares of each fabric. So I did have to plan carefully to figure out how I was gonna get the blocks out of those squares. But I did end up getting it done and I even had a couple squares left over. I was originally planning on giving this quilt away, but I like it so much, I think I might keep it for myself. To finish the quilt, I used wavy diagonal lines. I really like wavy lines because if you're trying to quilt with straight lines and they're all straight and one is wavy, that really stands out. But if all your lines are wavy, then nothing stands out. It's just the design. And for a quilt like this, it looks great. I use the same yellow fabric for the binding so it doesn't stand out at all. If you want more quilt inspiration, patterns, and tutorials, be sure to check out evadastudio.com.